Okay, today we're going to be embroidering on a nylon shell jacket. So let's get this going and I'll talk you through it. Okay, today we're doing a two-color job on this nylon jacket. And we've got some cutaway backing underneath the um, shell of the jacket. We're using two colors of thread. We're doing a metallic thread and also a white thread. So right now we're starting off with a silver metallic thread. We're also using the Hoop Master. And that's made by, uh, it's a magnetic hoop made by Hoop Master. And we sure like it on our jackets. It sure does a great job. So when you hoop that with the hoop master or the magnetic hoop, I hoop master, uh, just uh, pull out all, the, get it nice and smooth like we have it here by taking out all the wrinkles. So there might be a wrinkle or two, so just pull out the wrinkle and uh, make sure your uh, stabilizer, which is your cutaway, is looks real good on the inside of the jacket, and then you can go about to uh, embroider it like we're doing. So this is going to be a long video, so we're going to be stopping and going through it and giving you bits and pieces of this job. So right now we've got a big X that we're actually embroidering. It's going to take a while. So uh, we'll get back to you in just a little bit and show you a little bit more of this job. Okay, now we're starting to finish up our jacket. We finished up all the silver on the top, and now we're putting in the website on the bottom. So that's in white thread, and we're putting that on right now. I'll talk to you a little bit more about doing jackets. Uh, doing jackets, normally you'd want to use maybe a 7511 uh, sharp needle. And in this case, we have a about 31,000 stitches, which took us a pretty long time to do. That's why we're breaking down this video and just showing you parts of it. But we'll show you the whole jacket when we're done. Jack jackets can be very profitable, and but they do take a long time. Jackets can run anywhere from 40 minutes to an hour to do some jackets. This jacket took us a long time, there's a lot of trims. And we try to get it so we don't do as many trims, but uh, sometimes to make the design look the way you want to make it, uh, you're going to have to do those trims, and that takes a lot longer. And when you're trimming, sometimes the thread will bust, then you have to go back to the needle, and of course, uh, you know, do a little work to get it back going again after a broken thread. That takes time. Okay, our speed. We're running at approximately 800 RPMs or so. Well, let's move along and I'll get you to the end real soon now. Okay, we're finishing up our nylon shell jacket. And it's coming along real nice. It's taking a long time, but we're doing a nice job. And, um,
I think we just have a few letters left. So I thought I'd talk to you about a few more things. So when we're done, we're going to trim off uh, any trimmings we got to do on the front. We'll flip it off and cut away that uh, cut away backing that's on the inside. Do our trims in there. And then we'll have ourselves a nice jacket with a nice big logo on the back. Remember we're using the Hoop Master uh, Magnetic Hoop. We're also using Magnetic Bobbins by Filtech, which work great. You can take them right down to the end and the tension will stay pretty much the same. We're also using Madeira Polyester Thread. So uh, we use that mostly in our shop. Now we could have hooked this with a regular hoop. Probably could have done it and with no problem. But it sure works a lot easier and nicer with that magnetic hoop by Hoopmaster. But a lot of times uh, we don't have enough of these magnetic hoops. And it's a larger job and we can use our regular hoops because we have lots of those. Uh, we will do that. Okay, it's getting that time of the year. We're starting getting cold here in California. So it's uh, going into the fall. And this is when our jacket business picks up. So we thought this would be a good time to uh, do video on some jackets. Some people have been asking me to do this. I've already sort of done one with some denim, which is a denim shirt, denim jacket type. So now we're doing the nylon shell uh, jacket. This does have a liner on the inside. Uh, since we don't have any gray liner, we use the white liner uh, or the white backing on the inside. So we'll do that cutaway uh, backing on the inside. Um, cut that out and do our trimming. Well, you want to use that cutaway instead of that uh, tearaway because it will just it'll just make a better job and you won't have so much of the puckering and that will work out pretty nice for you. So it's all out a little puckering here or there but it should cut down on the puckering a lot. It just matters uh, what the design is, how many stitches and in this case we got about 31,000 stitches in this design. And we're down to the last letter so we're almost done here. We hope you enjoyed our video. And we got more videos to come, so uh, definitely subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, of course, uh, send that along. And we will try to help you out with that. Or any other videos that you might want to see. We're always making different videos, so uh, we got some more videos to come. So uh, keep in tune with our channel, and uh, you can see some new videos coming up soon. I hope you guys have a great day. Hope you enjoyed the video. And this was Jacket Bat Embroidery on a nylon shell jacket with a lining. And there we are. Remember we're running an NSWF machine, 15 meter. And let's show you the completed product there. There you go, completed jacket. Thank you very much. Have a great day.